Homeowners living just north of Vider are starting the cleanup process as they return home to assess the damage. Our Jackie Massey today went to the Wexford neighborhood just up Highway 105 to see a remarkable spirit of determination. Personal belongings, furniture, and now trash line several of these streets in the Wexford neighborhood in Orange County. But many of these people are resilient, trying to rebuild their homes after Harvey. Jason Dorchuk is doing everything he can to clean up the mess Harvey made at his home. The water line was somewhere right in here. You can see all the mold growing. This is a picture of what his house looked like after all the rain. The flood waters almost reached the roof. Every time I go in, I throw up, it, it reeks, just mold growing everywhere and just sickening. You can see the mold on his furniture and household items scattered all over the floor. All the cabinets up to about right here, that's about how deep it got. Jason it's tried to stay as top. long as he could, helping neighbors along the way. But as flood water started to rise, he was worried. He I slept right here over. on the kitchen counter to ride out the that storm. Hungry, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, just uh, overwhelming. He eventually left paddling out in his kayak and took one last look at his house. Pretty much sealed it up and I wish myself best of luck. Hope it didn't come up any higher than what it did. Others in the neighborhood are in a similar situation. The streets are now covered in trash as people sort out what they want to keep. It's upsetting for many to pick up the pieces, but Jason says he is grateful for friends who are there to help. Emergency management officials want drivers to take extra precaution if they're traveling down this road. It leads to Wexford Park in the newer section, and as you can see, there's still a lot of water and cracks in the road. In Orange County, Jackie Massey, 12 News.